would steal a cooler outside a home filled with drinks and snacks meant to pass along an act of kindness to delivery drivers. Yeah, Fox 26 News reporter Myra Franco shows us who and spoke with the homeowners and she has their reaction tonight, Myra. Monty Liz, they weren't too happy about it. It wasn't about the coolers, they say, but that someone came onto their property to take what is theirs when they are simply doing a good deed. They tell me they started the act of kindness cooler about a year and a half ago, and it's currently on hold due to the theft. Caught on camera, a guy walking up to the Navarro's' house who then takes a look inside the red cooler, picks it up, then stops, sees another cooler to his left, checks that one out, then goes back to the first one he picked up and takes off with it. It happened Tuesday around 3 a.m. near Maroa and Garland Avenues in Fresno. I was mad because it's like, I mean, they came up to my porch, took something that wasn't theirs. I said, if they want to take the drinks, I'm fine with it. You know, but take the whole cooler and everybody else suffers out? No. The homeowners, Jose and Dana Navarro, say the cooler brought so much joy to delivery drivers. For about a year and a half now, they have been putting out a cooler filled with drinks and snacks for them. They say they fill them up weekly. They're working and it's hot and, and my son is a, a delivery driver and my son-in-law and they said it makes a big difference for their whole mentality when people do that kind of stuff. Dana picked up the act of kindness idea to show a small token of appreciation for those who drop things off. Yeah, I believe one of her friends did it, so she thought it was a good idea to, especially in Fresno heat, to put out the coolers, you know, just some kind of gratitude for them, you know, because it is a hard job. When regulars come by, they know a sweet treat and a refreshing drink awaits. For first timers, they say it's quite oh a nice God. surprise. They don't know what to think. <laughs> They're like, wow, okay. I love watching their little, their um, reactions on the, on the video. And one guy said like, oh, thank God. It was like 110 that day. He was like, thank God. And he was just ice cold water. And he's like, oh my God. It's, it's fun watching them do it. You'll now find a post-it note outside the house letting the drivers know why there is no cooler for now. We just put a little sign up that says, sorry, no, no treats right now. Somebody <laughs> stole the cooler. <laughs> The Navarros tell me this won't stop them from spreading the goodness in the community. They say they will most likely start chaining the cooler to the pillars of the house. Monty and Liz, it's unfortunate, they say, but necessary from now on. What is that saying? That's why we can't have nice things. That's what it says. <laughs> ah, yeah. All right, thanks so much, Myra. Well, the Navarros tell Myra that this was actually, would you believe, the second time that someone stole something from their porch? The first time happened last year. A kid stole a whole candy basket they left outside, they said, for the delivery drivers after Halloween. Want to see more stories like this? Watch Great Day weekday mornings from 5 to 10 and Fox 26 News at 10.